And watch this. Joseph, y'all please keep looking this way. Joseph is just prospering. And Potiphar is being blessed. And here's this man who loved God, had the favor of God, and he is a and he is full of wisdom. And Potiphar said, Man, I'd love to keep him here. Potiphar happy. Do you not know Joseph is happy too? You know what Joseph based on saying? Boy, this show better than the pit. This show better than being out there in the field. You know what Joseph saying? Joseph saying, this is real comfortable. I think I'll just stay right here. But God was saying to Joseph, God is sitting on high looking low. And God is saying to Joseph, no. Part of a house is not your destiny. You don't got comfortable in your little comfort zone. And God said, listen, I'm finna shake up some stuff. See, sometimes God shake up some things in our life. Do I have a church? He will shake up some things because we get comfortable. You know, Joseph would have never left part of a house. But watch what God does. In an unusual and strange, strange way, you know, sometimes when God shake up some things, we are just, we're just wondering what's going on. The Bible said that Joseph had no intention of ever making uh, a, a pass at mid poverty. He never had no intention because he's full of integrity. But said, but she, Begin to eye Joseph. Can I preach to you? They're always talking about the man. Can I preach? They always call up, y'all ain't never dogs. Well, y'all ain't never cats. Glory be to God. Joseph is a man full, everyone say full, full. of integrity. Amen. And the Lord is blessing him. But what did God turn around? God turned around and got to get him out of his comfort zone. So he uses Paul of a wife. She eyes Joseph. And first she tells Joseph, oh, come lie with me. Come lie with me. And Joseph say, no, I can't do this. She said, come on. Kept plotting. Kept. He said, no, I can't do this. And one day she got her little conspiracy and her little plot together. And she made sure everybody was out the house. And Joseph came in, the Bible said, to do his business. Normally taking care of part of a house. And all the business. And she saw him go into the chamber. She steps in. Closed the door behind her and locked it. And she approached Joseph. And she said, Joseph, lie with me. And Joseph said, wait a minute. How can I do this thing? God's been so good to me. How can I do this thing and sin against God? You know why a lot of us not blessed? We don't care nothing about sinning against God. We want God to bless us. But we have no integrity. And Joseph said, listen, he didn't say, how can I do this and hurt Potiphar? He said, how can I do this and what? How many of you know God been good to you? Amen. And there's just certain thing. Come on, look at me. Don't look at nobody. Look at me again. Just say, there's just certain things. Certain just ain't worth it. Worth Messing up my blessing. See, I can just get a benediction and let you go home now. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. Joseph, how can I do this thing and sin against God? And then she, 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 come here, brother. I know you're a man and uh, 
Let me have, let me have that coat. Get out of here. She, she began, she grabbed Joseph and he, uh, and he, he ran. <laughs> Don't run. <laughs> Don't look back. <laughs> Praise God. Keep on running. T touch the buzzer. Keep on running. And the Bible said she had Joseph left his coat. Sometimes you got to leave your coat. I'm going to just do this anyway. Sometimes you got to leave your coat. What is, come here, Sister Harry. Sometimes you got to leave your coat and send your wife to go get it. <laughs> I bet she go get it too. <laughs> full, full of integrity. Full of integrity. Full of honesty. God kept on blessing him. What is thought, what, why did Joseph keep prospering? It looked like he's in the pit. He finally get to Potiphar house. Looked like he's doing all right. Now he's back down. She, Potiphar sent him to prison. Now in actuality, Potiphar should have, brother Fault, Potiphar by law, the law said he could have killed Joseph. Why didn't Potiphar kill Joseph? Because he knew that ain't sound like Joseph. But just not to totally embarrass Miss Potter. He said, I can't, I'm not going to kill this man. But I'll just, to keep your little reputation, I'll send him away, send him in prison. Man, how in the world am I up one day and down the next? I just got comfortable in part of a house. You snatched that from under me, God. Now I'm in a prison. And I ain't do nothing wrong. I ain't do nothing but treat people right, try to love, try to do the right thing. I'm on top. It looked like you snatched the rug from me. I'm back down again. Anybody ever been there? Every time you seem like you're doing right, look like the bottom fall out. And we, you know, we like God to do this. Take me up here. Let me stay here. Then take me up there. And let me stay there. And take me up there. But sometimes the way up is back down. Amen. <clears throat> and, amen. Watch this. In prison. For righteousness sake. Sometimes you back, you, you're going through things for righteousness sake. You didn't do something wrong. Sometimes you have done things wrong. But whatever be time, you didn't do anything wrong. You are the innocent party for righteousness sake. But what's the attitude of Joseph in prison? He's down in prison and he could have been bitter. That's it, Lord. I'm through. I'm through. All right. I dealt with the pit. I dealt with, I dealt with being this, uh, uh, sold into slavery. I finally started doing good and I go back <coughs> down. That's it, Lord. That's it. I'm through coming to church. I'm through studying. I'm through praying. I'm through giving. That's it. I'm through having a good attitude. I'm through with it, God. Because I'm tired of every time I get up, I'm going back down. And God is saying, if you only know where I was taking you. You know, sometimes we want to get people positioned. We look up and say, I would love to be the pastor. But do you know what the pastor had to go through? To get to his place. Maybe never wish for other people's blessing or destiny because you may can't handle it. 